Hi everyone, today we are looking at an O-level type question on proportionality. You can see in the question, D is inversely proportional to the square root of F. So before we jump in, let me just recap very quickly the ideas of proportionality. So if I said something like A is proportional, To B, usually we will say this, we'll write this symbol. This symbol means proportional to B. And what it really, really means is that A is equals to K times B, where K is some constant, some number, and K cannot equal to zero. So it cannot be A equals to zero times B. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't make sense. And so we can also write if A is inversely proportional to B, if A is inversely proportional, so sometimes we will write it this way, inversely, this means inversely proportional to, and what it really really means is A is equals to K over B, where K is some constant, and K is not zero. All right. So based on this, let's look here. It says D is inversely proportional to square root of F. So immediately we look at this one, inversely proportional. Instead of A and B, now we have D and square root F. So maybe let's just write that down. So we can say that uh, D is inversely proportional to the square root of F. So it means D equals to K over the square root of F, where K is some constant. Um, now, they tell us that when f equals to 9, d is 2 over 3. So actually, if you realize, if we just substitute these values in, we can see that when d is 2 over 3, we leave k uh, alone, we leave k alone, and we get the square root of 9. We can actually solve for k. And so we can, we can just solve for k this way, and square root of 9 just simply is 3. Let me bring it here. And so... If I multiply 3 by both sides, what I get is 2 equals to k. And so, yes, k equals to 2. So an equation really is d equals to 2 over the square root of f. Because um, I solved for k, which is 2, and I knew that d equals to k over the square root of f. Yes. Cool, so let's just write that down. And that is my equation. It's an equation connecting D and F. Part B, find F when D is 1 over 5. So simply substitute it in. This is D. Now we know that D equals to 2 over square root of F. We want to find F, so when D is 1 over 5. So let's just substitute in D is 1 over 5, square root of F. Now, at, at this part, what we can do, um, we can actually, um, you know what, maybe we don't like the, the square root. So let's just square both sides right now. Let's just go ahead and square both sides. And then once we square it, 1 over 5 squared, you will see is 1 over 25. And the, if you remember the laws of indices, we bring the squares in, so it's... Just as how I got the squares in here, 1 squared over 5 squared. Now it's 2 squared, which is 4. Over square root of f, when you square it, you get back f. Okay, now, this looks a bit better, and so let's multiply f on both sides. And they cancel. So f over 25 equals to 4. And then now we just multiply 25 on both sides. So they cancel equals to 100. There you go.